Hi guys, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel and uh, if you're new to my channel, my name's Paula as I just said and um, I do a lot of unboxings on my channel, I do a bit of beauty try-ons, clothes hauls, mum stuff, that type of thing, just a bit of mixture of things. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry I'm filming on my bed because basically my whole house have taken down the Christmas decorations to put up today they wanted to go to my kids had a show they were doing a performance so and they do this little this little theater group so to go there and now there's just like christmas decorations everywhere so it's a total mess in our house so and um, there's nowhere to film so i'm sitting on my bed with my christmas jumper on with the nice annoying flashing lights so i'll probably bug everyone <laughs> anyway it's that time of year isn't it so it's just all crazy so i apologize that i'm basically holding my phone up and filming it sitting on my bed Anyway, I'm going to do a review of the Beauty Box Pretty Obsessed, which is a monthly beauty box and it is $14.99 a month. Um, you do get some discount off if you go for a confirmed 3, 6 or 12 month subscription. And it costs about £3, I think, for uh, postage. So it takes up to about nearly £18 a month, which I think is fairly expensive for a beauty box. Now, I've had a sneak peek and I'm not going to lie, I am pretty disappointed with it so I'll open it up and let you see what I've got okay so it comes in as just a normal cardboard box quite good for recycling I'm not going to complain about that obviously you get much better packaging with something like look fantastic or glossy box when you can you can let you reuse the boxes for other things but to be honest with you quite often you're putting the boxes into recycling so actually quite quite happy just having a plain box uh, you open it up it says Hello beautiful in it and it comes like that um, you only get like a little leaflet in there like that it doesn't tell you how much things are it just says we want to thank each and every one of you for your support it really does mean so much we're really excited for 2020 and what we have in store for you all we wish you a very merry christmas and a happy new year that's nice we've been asked a lot about adding information about the products in our leaflets or on the website please bear with us this is to come in the near future and it said let us know about the new design well obviously this is my second month so i don't really know what the old design was and you can also put yourself on a social media showing the box now this is what the box is like and you're gonna laugh because everyone oh it's falling out now everyone knows my uh, feelings on these eyelashes and we've got another box of eyelashes excellent to add to my mountain collection of eyelashes that i probably won't wear anyway i might put this one's and i give it in the I, i've got my uh, 100 125 and 150 giveaway so i think i might add some of these things to it so that might make it even more exciting okay so the box is five items and so the first item i've got are the eyelashes and they are look like they've been commissioned by um by pretty obsessed themselves so the to be fair they don't look the best quality i'm not that uh uh eyelash aficionado but i think these look a little bit ropey um again like i said they've got a bit there to sort of put the lashes on i think it's one of those ones that you, you hold it up and it's got the lashes there three, you've got three pairs there um in a quite a flimsy box so yeah, they don't look particularly luxe, they look quite basic and I'm, I think I'll probably put that in the giveaway and those of you that do use lashes can tell me how what you think. The next thing we got um, in the box is we got, where's the other thing? I'm sure, oh yes, we got now this. Now, okay, this is a Josh Cosmetics Press Highlighter in Tinkerfell. Now, so the lights are probably going to be really bugging people sorry and it is basically a pressed powder it's a highlighter quite a thin pan and it's one of those ones it's just like a loose pan now i'm gonna to have to have a look at josh cosmetics online i do know there's a lot of companies that sell just single pans of things and then you you know they're magnetic and then you buy a like a sort of magnetic box and then you stick it in so i understand the concept of it so this is what it looks like and this is the color um so i'll put a bit on my finger there that's what it looks like so it's quite a nice color um 
Now, I've actually ordered from Cleona Cosmetics, which is like a really awesome, gorgeous Canadian brand of eyeshadows, um, some of those little loose magnetic shades that they sell. It, they are just mind-blowingly gorgeous. So when I get them, I'll have to let you see what they look like. So I have, or I have got, uh, I bought a magnetic palette just to stick all these things in. Because like I said, they do come loose. So I might stick this into the magnetic palette. It's just a, a, like a Morphe one I bought, just a plain empty magnetic palette. So I might keep this, I might not. Um, see how I get on with it. Um, but again, it's a bit flimsy. I'm not so sure about giving um, something like this in a box when you know you're not giving them in. You know you're not giving a magnetic box away or anything to keep it in. I mean, for most people, what are you going to do with that? I mean, if you don't have a magnetic makeup box to hold it in, what are you going to do with it? You're just going to it's just going to get totally smashed up, isn't it? In your makeup bag or something. So I'm not so sure about what I feel about that. And I'm not sure about the quality of Josh Cosmetics. I will have to have a look at that and see online what their um, what the reviews are on that. And the next thing I got um, is by Hikari. And it's a shimmer bronzer set in Radiate. Now, I don't use bronzer. So I am going to add this to the giveaway. So I'm going to put that in. and. Um, it's got like a sort of pinky, a goldy, a bronzy sort of colour and a more of a dark bronzer. So I'm going to put that in the giveaway. So it's a set of four bronzers in a little quad like that. And again, I'm not so... I'm, I'm, I'm being really negative about this box, I know. Um, but I don't know about how I feel about sticking a, a set in like that. Because the minute you start using it, it just, it's like a stupid design. It all just blends into one, doesn't it? You know, it'll break up and, and blend into into one thing um, and get really messy in the box. I think it should have been separated. Now, the next thing I got was um, from Phase Zero and it's a liquid lip. And they say, I think because it's Christmas, everyone always gets you liquid lips in red. So this is kind of a nice dark, uh, this is a nice liquid lip. If you like red, it's actually coming across a little bit more orangey on, on the screen. I'm not sure if it's drying out or not, because see, see that bit up there, up the top? Not so sure about I feel about that. Um, I will try and take the top off just now and let you have a look at the colour. Um, let's have a look. Um, yeah, so the colour, this is this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's getting picking it up and I'll let you see the colour on my hand. Now yeah it doesn't it doesn't look great either actually to be honest. But that's in phase zero. At least phase zero is fairly reputable and um yeah I'm, you know I might keep that I might give it to somebody because again I don't wear a lot of being a redhead I don't wear a lot of red um and I do have I bought a Pat McGrath um eyeshadow set um a couple of weeks back and i got a free liquid red liquid lip with it and it, it's really nice so if i was going to wear it i think i would wear that but red's not something i'm i would i would wear regularly so it's not my sort of color i normally go for so i think i might give that away as well and the last thing is this thing by lip switch and it's a match shine duo oh by sorry it's not it's by mua and it, that is makeup academy professional and what it does is it gives you on the top it gives you oh and it's just come off um i've just pulled it off i've broken it that's a good start um let's see so at the top you can it switches out here i'm trying to do everything one-handed and you get the the lipstick at least is my little girl's kicking off because she's uh, not wanting to go to her bed uh so there um and it's a it's a kind of Guys, it's tea time. Sorry, it's tea time. So I'm totally, it's totally amateur hour here today. So it's a bit more of a pinky, pinky red that one's, but again, still kind of reddish. Um, husband's calling the kids for their tea, and then in the top, I have to say this is really amateur hour today, and I, I apologize um for the quality of the video. Um, and then you've got like a kind of gloss at the top. Um, yeah, it's pretty okay. It's not particularly exciting. Um, yeah, so my, my view is I'm probably going to cancel the subscription. I'm not impressed with it at all. Um, 
especially when you think about it it's it's costing the same as well it's costing like you know like you're looking at things like um, ipsy and that in america this is costing about the same as that it's and what what you're getting for it's really not that great. Um, when you think about it for like Look Fantastic and for Glossy Box, you're paying about thirteen pounds and getting well known brands. You're getting full size products. You're getting some really nice. You're getting some really nice quality things. So that's eighteen pounds, and I'm those are the products I got. I, I'm not impressed. Um, sounds really overly negative. You may have, feel differently. You may like look at those products and go, actually, I love the eyelashes. I love the lipstick. I loved everything. Um, but to me, I just don't think that's worth eighteen pounds. Um, in out of that entire box, I don't think I'm really going to keep any of it. I might keep the highlighter in my magnetic um, box, but apart from that, I think I'm going to put everything else in a giveaway or give away to someone. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty disappointed in that, and I think that might be, you know, I could wait for another month and see how it goes. But I think to save myself the money, I think I might just cancel that one because I don't think I'm going to. It's going to go up in my estimation, I don't think. Uh, anyway, tell me what you thought. Give me a drop, drop down what you thought of the box. I mean, have you got that box? What did you think of it? Did you think it was worth the money? Um, and like I say, sorry about the ropey, the ropey quality of the video. I'm sure I'm going to get a thumbs down from someone for that because, you know, you do. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day... Needs must wanted to put a video out tonight of that uh, that box as as I just got it today and I want to get it up quite quickly, um, but my house is total mess <laughs> for filming today. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I hope you're having a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye bye.